Hello, this tutorial is going to be covering information in regards to your annotated bibliography number two. The source is going to be the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. The type of source is going to be a website and supplies that you're going to need are going to be computer access with internet and the annotated bibliography worksheet number two. Let's get started. Please obtain this worksheet from your course instructor and this looks very similar to the first worksheet that we used in order to generate our first annotated bibliography worksheet. During that time we are working with the periodical, one from our BHS Media Center. This is going to be a little different though because we're working with the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics Notice that we included a text box this time. And with this text box, we want you to really be thinking about what information this particular source is going to give you. So this source is going to get me information on what aspect of the research paper process. We're asking that you circle all that applied. So once you've looked over your document, once you've printed off the sources that you need, including charts, graphs, etc., you need to be thinking about what information the source provides for you. Is it going to be for the history and evolution, the issues pertaining to this career, the future projection, or the service learning? You might notice that in some of your sources you're only given information on one aspect of your project, whereas some sources will give you information on several aspects. It's important that you're able to see if one, the source is a credible source, if it's providing you with enough information, and then once you determine that, how does it fit and fall into the outline of your project. As with the previous assignment sheet, you are asked to list the citation. This will save you a lot of steps later on once you go from your annotated bibliography to your works cited page. Um, this will help you immensely. The section two, that's the annotation section. When you're looking at your specific source, we're asking that you take these copious notes so that it's going to make a lot more sense for you and it's going to be a lot easier when you type your final draft for annotated bib two. What type of source is this? For this particular one, it's a website. So that's what you're going to put on the line indicated here. The next thing we're asking you to do is once you've obtained your information from the BLS website, provide a summary of the central theme and scope of this website. So in your own words, what is this source and what information is it providing for you? So you have to give us an overview. Be specific. The second part for this section, we're asking you to look and determine what the author's credentials. Now, you don't have a specific author with the BLS or Bureau of Labor Statistics website, but you still need to discuss who these people are. They're from the U.S. Department of Labor. You need to see if the information is updated. So is it current information? What's the copyright year? When was this website last updated? Is it monthly? Is it weekly? Is it almost daily? What makes the people, um, in this case the organization, authorities or experts in the field? In other words, how do you know to trust them? Are you working with people who are PhDs or MDs? Or are they professors in their field? are the people um, who do this for a living. So if we're looking at data, are they economists? Are the people who've been appointed to the position? How do you know to trust them? And so for this, you're thinking about in terms of the U.S. Department of Labor. So um, what credentials do those people have? What um, determines that department? Um, is it certain people who've done this for a long time? That type of thing. For this section, after you've read your source, you're going to write out the information from the source that you will include specifically and you use in your paper. Again, you have to determine what information is being provided for you in this source. So you have to go back to your initial topic prompt 
and you need to also go back and review the outline for details. The reason why we want you to do that is we want you to always be thinking about your prompt. You always have to be thinking about what the topic is um, being addressed, what you're asked to address in your prompt, so that when you are looking at a, p a source material, a piece of material, you can definitively say, this is going to help me with the evolution portion in history of my paper, or this particular source is going to help me with the surface learning. It's going to keep you organized at all times. So this section is very important. We also want you to evaluate this website for bias. So evaluation for bias is important. How do you know you can trust the source's information? You've previously told us who these people are, what their credentials are, but now we're asking you to determine um, how do you know you can trust them? How do you know this particular website or the publisher um, are not giving you skewed or biased information? So is the source only providing one view or one aspect of the career? Is the source providing a variety of ideas from various sources? Is this information based on the fact or opinion? And can this information be trusted with details from other sources? We're asking you to determine whether you can fact check this information. So if you can find this information in other sources, or more likely you would find it in other sources, and it's fact versus opinion, then you have unbiased information. Remember, we do not want information where someone is trying to persuade you to do something, believe something, or um, for you to buy into something. We want you to get as much objective information as possible. The last section of your worksheet, you are now taking notes. This is the note taking section. Remember, it is required that you have 7 to 15 facts that you will specifically incorporate in your document. So you're including this and you're including the page numbers. So later when you are um, using these items for direct quotes and you're citing your sources, you will remember on what page you found your specific notes. We're providing 10 to start off with, but if you need additional sheets, we're asking you to use the additional sheets for numbers 11 through 15. Why are you doing this? What is the purpose of this worksheet in pre-write? It is going to be for you to create your final draft. And I'm going to show you a copy of our final draft. So we're going to be moving from this worksheet to what I want you to note is your final draft. This is the final draft of what an annotated bibliography would look like. So you're using your pre-write worksheet in order to type up and generate this draft. So an annotated bibliography would have the title here. You'd have your last name here and the page number. You'd have your citation there, which you generated. Notice the second thing you'd have would be your annotation, and that's where you answered all those essential questions and you put it into a 150 word brief. Then you'd have your note taking section and notice again we talk to you or talk to you about what goes into the note taking section. So the page number needs to be there for each site. And the sample I'm showing you is really the sample in format, not content. So you need to specifically follow the guidelines of your assignment. So again, you have three parts to your assignment, an annotation or citation, sorry, then the annotation, then your note taking section. And the pre-write's there to help you generate that. Okay, for this assignment, we need you to follow the um, allocated task. First, you're going to need to log on to the Moodle page. Then you're asked to go to the Research Paper Folder tab on my course Moodle page. Then click on the link entitled the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Once you're there, you see this particular website. It gives you a lot of great information on the current economic status of the American society. And we need you to use this for several reasons. You're looking for future projection information. You're looking for job information, employment information. You want to know what's happening not only nationally with your specific career as well. So you scroll down, 
click on this particular um, handbook in the career tab, so it's Occupational Outlook Handbook. Then you get this page. What we want you to do is scroll down to your A through Z index for your specific career. I'm going to click on N for nursing. Give it a second to warm up. You'll click on one of your tabs, hopefully you'll have one, and you see this is going to be information here. This is the first source that we want you to use. And notice they give you a suggested citation, so you're going to use this suggested citation for your citation line. How you're going to print this is going to be printer friendly. Once you do that, then I want you to click Control P, as in patient, and then you'll have your document. We also want you to do a manual search to see if there are other sources that this particular database provides for you. So they gave you this particular source, but then if you go back, they may give you, and just keyword it twice, give you a maps projection, and that's what you're looking for. And you do see that we have that. Let's click on this. It gives you a map sort of projection. This is the secondary source we want you to use. This gives you more data of what's happening with this particular industry, like the nursing field. So it gives you a geographic profile of where registered nurses would be by states. So you want to also look for your secondary source, which is going to be a map projection. So by the end of this session, you should be able to get two, at least, quality um, enriched documents that are going to help you with um, the history of history, a little bit of it probably, the um, issues pertaining to it, and the future projection of your specific source. And again, we went to two different parts of this BLS website. We did a manual search here and here looking for a maps projection, and then we got our occupational brief as well.